Hey everyone, it's been a while since I last updated you on my hemochromatosis journey and I've made a lot of great progress. It started back in mid 2018. If you don't remember, I was struggling with the roller coaster of my ferritin levels dropping and rising and never seeming to be able to make it into normal ranges. I stayed positive, I kept plugging along, and in December of 2019, I finally got a ferritin test and it showed that my ferritin was finally at 146, which was way lower than it has ever been in almost over three years. So my doctor gave me that good news and then he had even better news and he let me have three months off of phlebotomies. And so for 2019, I didn't have to worry about doctor's appointments of any kind, and it was so great. And I focused on work, having fun, and my family. Then in April this month, I was finally scheduled to go back, and I got the news that I would have to go in for labs, and then go in for my doctor's visit and phlebotomy, which if you know me and two pokes of a needle in one week is not good, but we're on a new plan of action for my hemochromatosis. And so I just leaned on my proven phlebotomy preparation procedure that I have and just knew I had to do it because eventually I might not need phlebotomies fingers crossed. And I prepared, went in for my labs, and it was perfect to my surprise. And then I went to my doctor's appointment where he gave me the news that my ferritin had jumped to 308. So about 40 points per month. And that's a little faster and a little higher than we wanted it to be going. So I had a phlebotomy that week and that went perfect as well. So that was progress for me too. Now moving forward, we are going to be going to phlebotomies once a month until August to try to get my ferritin back down to hopefully under 142, and then maybe I'll get another little break. But until then, I am good with that. We are in the normal ranges, even though it might still be high, and that is all I care about at this point. So now we'll work on getting it as low as possible in the next couple months. Thank you so much for supporting me on my hemochromatosis journey. If you are struggling with hemochromatosis, make sure to leave a comment in below so I can give you a little bit of encouragement. And then check out my hemochromatosis playlist because you can see my progress firsthand and that should be encouraging because if I can do it, I know you can. Just keep drinking water, doing your phlebotomies or venesections, and staying positive. You will get there. Thank you so much for supporting me, watching my videos, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.